can you tell me what about my hero finally stood out for you and what the series means to you now i think what honestly like as silly as this might sound like i think something that stood out to me like even before i started watching it and what made me be like okay i'll give this a chance was probably like shigaraki's design like the character because like it was just unique and it was like creepy and it was like cool to me and i'm like okay you know what i'll give the series a chance because i want to see him in action and stuff and just see how he he plays out and like also i liked like just in general like the other like hero designs and i kind of just want to see all those people and uh, those characters sorry in like in action and stuff like that i'm like you know what i'll give this a chance because i could give the credit for at least like character design and it seems like a decent like storyline and that's just how it really all began and at what point was it for you that you decided i want to do my hero cosplay these character designs really stand out i like more than just a few I, and i guess I, I would at least assume you're a very big fan of the series yeah i definitely am i think it was definitely because i didn't know if i wanted to like cosplay something if i didn't like watch it so that's why i started watching it at first like, because one of my first My Hero cosplays is Sh Shigaragi, and, like, I definitely wanted to get in, like, cosplay him, so, like, I wanted to get into the series, and then finally when it reached a certain point in the series, I was, like, definitely, like, this is it, like, and then that's when I also gave, like, the series in general more of a chance, and, like, other characters a chance that I've cosplayed a lot from, and that's how it really just went. So when did you discover anime? I, I know some people picked up on it when they were younger with Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Dragon Ball, and they came back to it later in life. But what's your story with it? My story with it is that, like, I definitely watched it, like, you know, like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and all that when I was younger. But I didn't know <clears throat> at the time that it was, in quotes, anime. I just knew I was like attracted to like the style and I enjoyed watching it for like the plot. And then later in life when I was like dating someone at the time and then they were showing me like other anime, that's when I discovered, oh, I was technically watching anime when I was like younger. I just didn't realize it. Um, so and then that's when I kind of got back into anime and then more of the scene in general of like different types of anime besides like you know like your generic ones that everyone knows and it's kind of like you just get deeper in the rabbit hole yeah yeah I, I know exactly what you mean especially lately now that anime is so mainstream it's it's so fun to convert a normie oh my god yeah like i've seen like it's so strange because when i was younger that wasn't like even like the thing and whatever like now like i've seen like my hero posters in like walmart and stuff it's like crazy to think about it is it is and it keeps on growing and growing uh, i remember how hard it was to find t-shirts of your favorite anime series and you would have to order online and there was a good chance the shirt you're getting is going to be a different color and a different size than what you originally wanted and it was oh my six weeks to get to you <laughs> but now <laughs> you can walk into uniqlo target walmart you can order something off of Amazon when it comes to cosplay, when it comes to anime apparel, when it comes to accessories or DVDs, it's so easy to get it. And it wasn't the case back in my day when I had to get VHS tapes or I had to wait a month for my cosplay accessory to come in. Yeah, it's, it's honestly really crazy to think about how much things have changed. Even now, like I'll just sometimes, like occasionally I'll like, whether it's like I'm walking by or like whatever the case is like I'll sometimes like hear like people like talk about like whether it's my hero or like other anime like that besides like Naruto and like all that stuff and it's like crazy to think about because I'm still like because it's it's like it's so crazy also how it's like anime has gotten more mainstream over the recent years I feel but that, I don't know if that's just me, but I feel like in recent years, it's been more mainstream 
um like you know like you said like now that you could easily go to like a hot topic or target or wherever and get like an anime shirt when you used to have to like order it online and like wait a while for it yeah it's wild and i don't even have any fathom of an idea how much bigger it can get i do think anime will continue to get bigger i do think cosplay game culture all of that will continue to grow in tandem with one another but how much bigger can it get i i I can't wait to see because seeing something that you've loved for so long get mainstream and bring people joy as well that's one of the greatest things that anybody can see yeah i definitely it's nice that it's like it's mainstream like i don't mind it being mainstream because like it makes it more of like you know like a norm and stuff and it's not in quotes like so taboo and like you know people won't look at you weird and it's just like because i remember it's like in school you used to get bullied for liking it (laughs) yeah i remember those days i was the bully i mean i was the one being bullied (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> no i i know exactly where you're coming from things have changed so much my nephews are so into anime all of their friends are wickedly into anime like the same anime that i'm checking out for the upcoming season they've already finished it they're up to date they're reading manga wow. as well like i never would have guessed kids would be so into anime but then again when it's so easy to watch any sort of anime and there's more anime today than there was 10, 15 years ago, it's understandable that people would be like, okay, now I, I see a series that looks interesting to me. Pokemon never really got to me. I never really was interested in Dragon Ball Z, but Attack on Titan looks cool. My hero looks cool. I like Marvel stuff, so. Yeah, I can understand that. Like, it's also like, because I remember, like, the anime I did watch, it was either on, like, you know, only on certain channels at certain times, or, like, yeah, otherwise you had to know, it's like, you and quotes had to know someone who had, like, a DVD of something, or all that, and it's, like, crazy, because even, like, I go on, like, Hulu, and, like, Netflix, and all that stuff, and they even have, like, even if it's not, like, the biggest selection, there's, it's the fact that it has, like, anime on it, besides Naruto, like, like, I think that I find that interesting even still to this day of, like, you know, if this wouldn't have happened, like, many years ago. Like, I don't know. It, it's just, it's weird to me sometimes, but it's also, like, really cool because you can access it easier instead of going on, like, illegal sites. <laughs> that end up bricking your computer? Tell me about it. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> We've come so far. <laughs> 